Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So, Stella Bay had a vicar once. He took it upon himself to convince Graham's folk to come back to the corporate fold. Kept making the trip between the city and Amber Heights by foot. Kept getting himself into all sorts of scrapes. Day came when I found a book of his in the middle of a raft encampment. And still gripping it, too. The plan unfolds as the plan unfolds. To vicar and layman alike. Okay, well, yeah, thank you all for clicking on that thumbnail and checking out this video. It means a lot. Uh, if you could leave a like and a comment down below, uh, below the video, that would help a great deal as well. Um, so in this episode, I am heading to a town called Fallbrook, and that's pretty much all I know so far. Just got a few quests I, that sort of converge in that area. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Okay, um, thanks for the compliment, I think. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Well, I'm honored you're asking, and I'm thrilled to accept. What can I do? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out. And we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. What do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Well, sounds like fun. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Okay, uh, yeah, need to change that, um... There we go. Good so I need to head to Bay. Fallbrook. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Well, uh, so far, I can kind of see why um, the board don't want people coming to this planet. My god, what a shithole. Plus, the giant mushroom things kind of make it look like um, Morrowind. And boy, do I hate Morrowind. Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just stink. I'll take a toe off. I'll remember. Uh, <laughs> I'll remember that. Anyway, take my toe off. Well, Okay, I, I don't re I don't really want to stop. I, 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 
not sure what I'm gonna South come across. Off the road and down the slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body, this would be a good spot for it. Oh, good! A fight! Okay, I take it back. This place is somewhat growing on me. I think everyone's dead. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Yep, damn straight. Got a few quests in here. I believe the Vicar's quest coincides with this area too, like Fallbrook. Then I've got, uh, well obviously I need to talk to the sublight rep representative here. Then, um, yeah, I can be on my way then. With probably a new batch of quests. Keep your wits about you. This is sublight territory. Fallbrook's great. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. Come with me to Stella Bay. Ah, oh, cool. I can base I've unlocked basically the ability to jump forward with a bit of momentum. Uh-huh. You blind, fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Sorry to trouble you, Ms. Malin. I understand you're a terribly important figure in these parts. Perhaps you could point me to a man by the name of Reginald Cheney. That sprat shit better not have brought trouble into my town. He's a long-term renter. Easily replaceable. Check his domicile. Whatever happens, I don't fucking care. Just keep the mess from staining my little nugget of paradise, and we'll be grand. Well, nice to meet you, um, Miss Malin. I'm Roland Deschain. I'll be sure to remember that, fella. Wanna tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. Uh, actually, I'm the fixer for your little sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. 
Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Okay, well, cut to the chase, Malin. All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Yeah, okay, I can get that done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? No problem. Um, Nyoka's handled mantisaurs before. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike, and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Well, good thing that we have an engineer. Pavati will handle it. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Okay, I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Okay, I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed forced king of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forced factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. What specifically do you want me to do? Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly. And futile. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Any tips on how I might get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Say I wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Alright, sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. All right. Well, yeah. Thanks for that. Well, who's Duncan? She mentioned Duncan. I have no idea who this Duncan person is. 
Okay, journal. Okay, I might do this one next, but at the moment. Um, Great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. Efficient, clever. This is Reginald Stubb, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. I saw that! Okay. What do you think you're doing? Um, I was just leaving. I don't want any trouble out of you. That is a weird way to get out of <laughs> to get out of that charge, isn't it? Hey, you were stealing. It's like, yeah, I was just going. And he's like, yep, yeah, fine, sure. If you're feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Um, what's going on here? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. That sounds... Like, well, it might sound like a good idea, but maybe he, did, maybe he just didn't know the book was in French. Oh, he knew, didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Max, stop. It's not too late. Maybe the answers you've been looking for actually are in that book. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Okay, well, that's sorted then. I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. What do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Hey! Saving your life, that's a bit of a... bit of an exaggeration. Exaggeration? Has the vicar told you what he did to old Lamp? He's still eating through a tube last I heard. Look, what I may or may not have done to some degenerate during a prison brawl is old news. I'd rather not discuss it. Okay. <laughs> well, that's why he's on my team. He can kick ass. Okay, that's uh, us on the back burner now. Into the secret lab. I'm gonna do that one. Slaughterhouse Clive. Where is this? Okay, it's just down the road. That's fine.
I'll probably just get there in time to, you know, c call it a day for this episode. But uh, let's see how far we can get. I got an extra, like, 10 ish minutes before I have to call it a day. You seen Arthur today? God, yeah, I do like the design as well. Everything about this game is so nice. Like, like I love this gun, <laughs> and I love the design for the towns and everything and the people. Like, each planet as well has its own sort of look, you know? Which is quite nice. Like, the this one is basically like a sulfuric hellhole. Terra 2 was like, you know, um, our world, but slightly warped, so it looks a bit different. You know, so everything looks a bit more colourful and dangerous. Um, Scylla? Well, that's just weird. That was just an asteroid, wasn't it? With gravity. Sure, Vicar. What's, what's up? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Cut the crap, Max. You lied to me about Cheney. And I want to know why. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. I understand. Well, we all get a little obsessed sometimes. You're forgiven. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Well, let's get a move on, shall we? I'll probably delve a bit more into his past a and ask him huh? those questions you're a later, true maybe. Believer, or do you just like the tides? Why, that's borderline offensive, Ms. Ramnarim Wentworth. Of course I believe. The tithes are merely a... well-earned bonus. I met another believer once. Pushy type. He thought he'd been left behind for a reason. Level up. I met another believer. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. God, there's a lot of. Uh, criminals and marauders here, isn't there? Um, hmm. Okay, let's take out these guys. Is that a revolver? Oh, 
Oh, and it is as well. Yep, I found my gun. Nothing like a big ass revolver. Oh, I need to get to a workbench and just up upgrade this fully. This and the plasma carbine are going to be my guns. I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one. Other That's the last of Oh, no. No. No, no. What company are these guys with? Hmm. Oh, just go climbing up the side of the rock face. Ah, oh, I can't. Okay. That would have been a good idea. But uh, there's an invisible wall up there stopping me. Alright, let's try the other side. There's got to be a way in somewhere. Okay, that's sealed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to shoot my way in through the front gate, I think. Let's check, actually. Um, where is it? Um, Okay, so it doesn't actually tell me about alternate ways to get in. It just tells me about alternate ways to uh, destroy the place. Oh uh, well, get rid of Clive, uh, specifically. Alright. Screw it, I'm just going to shoot my way in. But I'm going to do that, I think, in the next episode. So for now, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you could leave a like and a comment, that would help a great deal. Uh, well, it would help a lot, actually. And if you wait until the end screen, you will have uh, two suggestions for different uh, episodes, uh, different playlists and whatnot uh, to check out. And uh, you can also hit the subscribe button. Also, if you hit the bell icon below the video, I believe, um, you can keep up to date with this walkthrough and the rest of uh, the other walkthroughs I do. Thank you all for watching again, it means a lot, and until the next episode, you take care.